Now, some people elect for a different procedure. I just switched over to neuropreservation. Because everyone that works at Alcor is signed up for neuro. So you just have to assume that's the better thing. About half our members make one choice, half the other. I've chosen to preserve just the brain. We'll do a neuro separation, we'll, you know, a few, few of the vertebrae down. We'll separate, remove the rest of the body. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take the cephalon and we'll place that over here in the cephalon ring. Essentially, we'll place the, the cephalon upside down so that we can reach the jugular vessels. Uh, actually, we don't think of severing the head. We think of it as severing the body. Because the part we're keeping is the brain. It's all about the brain. By the time they revive us, they're going to be able to grow a whole new body or whatever's going to happen. I don't care if it's robotic. I don't care what my body is. I just want my memories preserved. Why bother taking a broken down, you know, 9,500 year old body if it's going to have to be completely replaced anyway? The only critical part is up here. This is where I live. This is where all our patients are stored. This is bulletproof glass, in case anybody tries any kind of crazy attack on us for some reason. This room is filled with these vessels called doers. Each of these vessels has four whole body patients and up to five neuro patients in the center column. These are the pods. That's where the whole body patient would end up in. This is for our neuro patients. So you can essentially get 10 neuro patients in the same volume as one whole body pod. All kinds of people are in the doers. We have 143 patients choir preserve right now. We have philosophy professors. We have truck drivers. We don't consider them dead, yes, the law considers them dead. We can't say our patients are alive, but they're not dead because we consider them to be like people in a very deep coma. I think 101 is our oldest patient at, at, at the age of death in today's sense, and our youngest is just two years old. <laughs> 